Hi, welcome to day eight of your 14 day Namaste at home yoga challenge. My name is Danielle Day. With me as always is Nemo. And let's do an hour of Hatha, Hatha fusion yoga. A little bit of information about what makes something Hatha. Basically, we have in at least the Pacific Northwest, a couple styles of yoga that we teach, and it's typically in a very hot room. The Hatha tradition was started really in 1970s uh, by Bikram. Uh, Bikram Chaudhary was an immigrant. His immigration status was fast-tracked by Richard Nixon uh, to America because he healed Richard Nixon's knee, apparently. And it's a great system, and it was copywritten and protected uh, with a patent until around 2014 when it was pretty much decided in the courts that nobody could own choreography. And it's a great system. It's 90 minutes long, two sets of everything. Well, in around 2008, our company that I used to work for decided we could boost attendance if we took 90 minute classes and cut them down to 60. And since all of that time, like really good 12 years, we've as teachers kind of decided what we we're going to keep, what we were going to toss. So what I'm going to showcase today is a program of Hatha fusion that blends the Beacom tradition with input that I have added as well as have gleaned from my 10 year career teaching yoga teachers, working with super smart people like Elena Raddick from the B1 community and Stephanie Larson that you might know from the True Fusion community. And it's their input along with my insights and frankly my curves that have took us along the path from a very strict Bikram tradition which is 99% right is 100% wrong to this which is Greet the body that brought you to class today and move with healthy body mechanics first. So I hope you have lots of fun. Let's get started. On an inhale, circle sweep your arms, join your palms, and draw them to the center of your heart. Think about your actions today and how they are an offering to the wider world. Think of what a good job you're doing staying in your home praying for the health of the world and actively, relentlessly participating in it. Honor your space. All right, let's begin. So come on to all fours. And if it's at all possible for you to have a mirror to use, that's very helpful. But if you don't, that's okay. That's okay. I'm putting up two mirrors here so that hopefully this is helpful for you. And uh, child's pose is where we start. Separate your knees nice and wide. Relax your forehead onto your mat. Empty your lungs. And drop. All right. Once you've found an easy peaceful breath pattern. Let's come on to all fours. Place your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips for some cats and cows. Inhale, lift your eyes and hips. Exhale, hollow and round. Inhale, lift your eyes and your hips. Exhale, hollow and round. Last time, inhale, cow spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, hoist your hips. And we're just here to put a little bit of blood sugar and oxygen in your brain. And it's a place to walk your dog and kind of check in with the body that has brought you to your mat today. And a way for you to make a plan to take good care of yourself. Okay, so shake your head out like you're saying, you know what, no worries. Nod your head, yes. Yes, I've carved out this hour for my health and happiness. And it's going to benefit me and my children, my pets, my partner in the world. All right, inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees low. And heel toe, walk with purpose to the top of your mat. This is one of my favorite parts of yoga is this little heel toe practice. Inhale, come to a halfway lift. This little Ardha Uttanasana, it's kind of like the bend and snap. Yeah, that's happening. Inhale here. 
Exhale, fold forward, touch the floor. Now let's stand up safely, listen carefully. Bend your knees, put your hands on your hips, lift your face first. We go eyes up to rise up and gather. Open your arms, lift, and bring your hands to heart center. All right, now let's get you warmed up for half moon pose. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, let's begin. On an inhale, circle sweep your arms, touch your palms, point right up at the ceiling. And as you exhale, tick tock your body side to side. Practice here the idea that you're flat against an imaginary wall. Get organized with your lower body. Really pull your pelvic floor up and in and be leaning a little bit back into your heels, all right? When that feels good and loose, put your hands to the small of your back, help your hips down. On an inhale, lift your eyes. And on an exhale, walk your eyes down the ceiling and feel the chance to open your whole front body here. Find a round of breath. Change. Inhale, circle sweep your arms, come all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hands through heart center, touch the floor. Okay, last chance to warm up and get organized. So this is where we like to bend the knees, bounce up and down. I'm gonna grab my little timer here so that I can really be accurate so that each of our sets of everything that we do in our practice is an equal duration each side. And that is always important to do. All right, so once you have that all worked out, put your hands to your hips and stand up. Eyes up, rise up. Tadasana mountain pose. Now in Tadasana, go ahead, fix your clothing, relax your shoulders, and let's get into it. Lift every toe and then set them down neatly from here. Pull your pelvic floor a little up and in on the inside. Pull your navel to your spine, relax your shoulders down your back. You don't have to like make your hands like this, like you're Mary Lou Retton and you just stuck the landing. We used to teach it like that. Instead, just, just be, look in the mirror, Let's go. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms. Join your palms. Point straight up at the ceiling. Relax your shoulders down and back. Lean back. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, point to the right. Help your hip a little to the left and lean a little bit back. Now from here, let's create alignment first. So lean back. Use your right hand to pull your left. Relax your shoulder shrugs. Bump out your hip, now squeeze everything tight. Breathe, breathe softly, breathe patiently through your nose. Concentrate on it, meditate on it. Now D is for depth, the last part of this posture. So the last 10 seconds already coming up, come down and push, come down and push. We're here, three, two, one, change. All right, inhale brings you up. Second side, stretch up and then lean a little to the left. Start small, remember A, B, C, D, first alignment, that's first. So press your heels, anchor a little more into your right foot, straighten your legs, lift your chin to see your throat, and then use your left hand to pull your right. Breathe, breathe soft and patiently through your nose. Remember, breathing creates yoga. It helps bring light into your body. Now, concentration, notice your breath, concentrate on it, meditate on it, look forward so you can see your throat in the mirror. There you go, now lean back, here we go. Time to create depth. Last 10 seconds already coming up. Come down and push, come down and push. Hold three, two, one, change. Inhale brings you up. All right, supported back bend. Place your hands to the small of your back. Help your tailbone down and then lift your heart up. Look at the ceiling and start to go back more. Back bends start in your hips. So tuck them under, lift your rib cage. And then as you go back, look more back, all the way back. We're here, three, two, one, change. Inhale brings you up, draw your arms high. Exhale, fold forward, hands through your heart center touch the floor and again this is you know just warming up still so bend your knees a little bit more and check in with your back and your cat okay pada hastasana the hands to feet pose bend your knees a lot press your chest to your thighs hug behind your legs now if you're challenged here stay here for more hook your elbow crease behind your knee crease supinate your palms so you're going to touch your calves your ankles 
You could cross your hands like this. Some of you can step right onto the fingers. Now shift your work forward into your toe pads and lift up your sit bones. Feel good as you breathe and you find length. As you exhale, you pull. You pull, look above your kneecaps, find a round of breath. Change, bend your knees. Hands to hips, stand up, eyes up, rise up, to Dasana, mountain pose. So look in the mirror, find a focal point, look past it. All right, second sets. Inhale, circle sweep your arms, point straight up at the ceiling. Now second sets are for depth, so we go right there. Take, for an alternate grip, your left wrist. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, drop it down. Come all the way down. The f you could drop your right arm too if you like. Turn your left palm down and lift your chin to see your throat. Now this is important. Bump out your hip, press more into your left heel, lean a little bit back, shine your heart to the back right corner of the room. Come down and push. Three, two, one. Change, good, come on up. Second side, take your right wrist, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, drop it down. Now turn your palm down and get into it. We carve out a groove the first set. Second set, you drop neatly into the groove. Lift your chin to see your throat. Create a deeper posture. Come down and push. Reach, stretch, bump out your hip. Lift your chin so you can see your throat. Your spine loves this. And come down, get more. We're here for three, two, one. Change, two arms come on up. Now keep your arms high for your next back bend. Tuck your tailbone down, lift up your heart. Now you can cactus your arms if you prefer that. If you like to keep them straight or loop your thumbs, see what you need. Tuck your tailbone down, raise your ribs, and as you go back, you exhale. So the inhale lifts your heart just a tiny, and you exhale, you can go back, more back. Last time, change, inhale brings you up. Exhale, hands to heart center, fold forward, touch the floor, and this is good. All right, second set. Now this time we separate your feet. Create your Padan Gustasana from the power tradition. Take your first two fingers, hook your toes, soften your knees, lift your hips, take a breath as you exhale, pull. So this posture is a little bit like the in the Ashtanga primary series. So we threw this in for variety. Inhale to lift and exhale to pull. And frankly, I love it because I'm curvy. That pata histasana stuff, Japanese ham sandwich, the whole script is always about no light, no daylight between your torso and your legs. And curvy friends, you know, we, we, we like this maybe a little easier. So enjoy. Bend your knees, lift your heart, take a breath. And as you exhale, use your elbows so your biceps help you pull, pull, pull. Change, hands to hips. Eyes up. Now bend your knees, lift your face first to rise up, and then shoot your arms forward as soon as you fix your pants for Utkatasana, the awkward series. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit. Sit down. Now, notice my back is in its natural curves here. Phase one is for jacking up your heart rate, first of all, because we need your muscles to warm up a little bit more. Fix your clothes. This is a family show. And relax your shoulder shrugs. Squeeze your arms so tight that we can't move them. Change, press through your heels. Phase two, lift your heels. Shift your work slightly up and forward so that you come to the very tippy toes and you're working between the tip of your big toe and the big toe mound behind it. So this whole real estate of your big toe mound, lean back. Now notice here, I'm working for a straight spine. So lift your right heel a little higher. Left heel a little higher, find a round of breath. Change, press through your toes, linger at the top, heels high. All right, arms solid, heels down, third part. Pigeon toe your feet a little slightly. Lift your heels an inch, nothing much. Bend your knees and press them together like you have a lucky penny there. Now, tall, straight spine, slide down with control. You're using the stabilizer muscles of your inner thigh line to keep the brakes on. Now, avoid collapsing. There's a way to sit and be comfy. And there's a way to sit and be working. So pull your belly button up and in, lower your knees, blow your hips, and we'll slowly rise for four, three, two, one. Step feet together, arms beside you, mountain. 
Look forward, relax. Everything. Find your breath. Second set. Step right out. Boom. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, take your seat. Now work. How do you know you're doing it right? If you can lift every toe and really dent your floor with your heels, this is going to keep the work out of the knee joint and more into the glutes. Check it. Press to come up. See how your glutes are firing? Now lift your heels up. Press your knees slightly up and forward till your tippy tippy toes slide down a little. Now it's not about how low you go. It's how straight your spine is and how high your heels are. Lift your left heel higher. Lift your right heel higher. Shaking is good. You're building new muscle. Hold it there. Change. Slowly rise up. Linger at the top. Heels down. Arm solid. Third part. Pigeon toe. Inhale. Lift up. And exhale. Squeeze. So utkatasana. Let's take a really slow elevator down. Utka means awkward. And asana means posture. So utkatasana. This is what we're doing. Feels awkward like you're going to fall back. Now, let's slowly rise on my count for four, three, two, time feet together, arms relax, find your breath. All right, so now Garudasana. See how you're sweating now? This is good because your shoulders are sensitive. So eagle pose, let's begin. Inhale, circle sweep, touch your palms. Identify your right arm and swing it onto your left. Now, I used to be able to bind at the wrist, especially when I wasn't as curvy, and especially in a hot room when you're really sweaty, and especially because I would put lotion on my arms to cheat. So if you can bind at your wrist, have at it. I, I won't, because my shoulders, they're, they're happy here. It's enough. Take your right leg high, up, over, maybe wrapped behind your left. And even when I weighed 120 pounds, I couldn't stick my foot behind my calf. It has everything to do with limb length. So don't let anybody tell you if you sit lower, it's easier. It's not. Hold, change. Inhale, circle, sweep, second side. Take your left arm, swing it under your right arm. Cross out the el elbows, hold your shoulders, inhale, lift your heart, exhale, take your seat. Now from the seated position, help your left leg high up over, maybe wrapped around, and hug. The purpose of eagle is to stretch the backside body, we call that the extension part, and to squeeze and get the compression for your front side body. That's Hatha. Everything is built around compression and extension. So pull everything to the midline. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Change. Inhale, circle, sweep. Touch your palms. Second set, we add on some power moves. Identify your right arm. Swing it under your left arm. Hug. Sit. Take your right leg high up over. Maybe wrapped around. Sleeping eagle. Inhale, lift your elbows to shoulder height. Exhale, touch your elbow to your knee. Now from here, soaring eagle option, take your right leg and sweep it behind you. Then flare your hips, square your hips, and flare your toes. So see how I'm spreading the base of my foot out? I'm not pointing, I'm not flexing, it's a point. Body down, leg up, up, up. Change, soaring, meet your sleeping eagle. Hold, breathe, release. Inhale, circle, sweep. Identify your left arm, swing it under your right arm. Cross at your elbows, hold your wrists. If you can, sit down. Take your left leg high up over and maybe wrapped. Now hug to the midline. Send your knees a hint to the left, your elbows a bit to the right. Sleeping Eagle. Inhale, lift your elbows to height of shoulder. Exhale, pull your tummy in and round your spine. Touch your elbow to your knee and look at your elbow creases going further. Take your left leg out, then square your hip, flare your toes so it's body down and it's leg up, up, up. Good, square your hips, flare your toes, linger, lift, breathe, change. Bring your left leg high, up, over, and maybe wrapped. Squeeze. Find a round of breath. Change. Inhale, circle, sweep, touch your palms. Exhale, slowly. Let your arms relax beside you. Find a round of breath. And let's take a sip of water. Okay. So another thing that makes Hatha Hatha different from power is that we go from nothing to something, then back to nothing. 
So once you've had a sip and you've fixed your clothes and you've checked out your awesome timing, let's return back to your mountain posture. <sighs> Going from something to nothing. And then back to something to nothing. So that's life, you know? How do you show up? How do you do it? How do you leave it behind? And that's what we practice. All right, Dande Mana, Janu Shirasana, standing forehead to knee. Shift your work to your left leg and bring your right knee to the height of your hip. Now, straighten out your supporting leg like crazy. I mean, really look at your left kneecap and lift it up. Check that your knee is the height of your hip and flex your toes up to your nose. Now this is a challenging place to be. If you're working on balance or you're pregnant or you know maybe you are healing someplace or you're just wobbling, you can hold on to something. Your table, your chair, what have you. Fortify, lean back, find a round of breath. Change, okay, second side. So these postures build agility, balance, and coordination. So let's begin, start from your foundation. Lift your aerial toes. This informs the foot on the floor. Want proof? Droop the top foot and, and notice it, your bottom foot has a harder time staying stabilized. So it's kind of magic how your nervous system has this contralateral effect. Your aerial toes inform the foot on the floor. And notice you're never clawing the floor. That's a sure way to drop your arch and then you're not stable. So lift your big toes, lean back, squeeze your supporting leg. Looking great, friends. Fine a round of breath change. Okay, second set adds on from the Ashtanga tradition. So take your left hand to your left hip for Utita Hasta Parangustasana. Lift your right knee to the height of your hip. Now hold your knee and you can turn it out like that. My tall, very best, beautiful best friend, uh, we, she stays here because she's got long legs. Short legs like me, you can take two piece fingers and take your big toe as able and kick it out. Now everybody, inhale to raise your left hand high and as you exhale, turn out your hip. Chest up, chin down, eyes open and your beautiful breath flowing in and out. Look into your open left hand as able. Find a round of breath. Change, let's revolve. Take your left hand to your right heel of hand and start with a half bind. And you can hold your knee, remember that's an option too. Look behind your right shoulder. Find a round of breath. Change, all right, let's meet in the middle and lean back. Raise both arms and we will kick, be here. Three, two, one. Change, release, relax, and settle. Going from nothing to something and back to nothing. Okay, second side. Take your left knee and hold your knee, or if it was for you, take your first two fingers and hold your big toe. You have your right hand on your right hip, get organized. Toes kick out, inhale, raise your right arm high. On an exhale, turn out your hip. Now relax through your shoulders, square off your hips, and for more challenge, look into your open right hand find a round of breath. Change, look forward. Now let's take a, a revolved expression. Parivrita utita hasta parangustasana. Put the back of your left hand to the small of your back, taking your half bind, and then scan the room. Look behind your left shoulder. Chest up, chin down, eyes open. Breathe here, three, two, one, change let's meet in the center bend your knee raise your arms lean back and kick we're here three two one change bend your knee release relax settle come to stillness and settle all right donde amana donna rasana standing bow pulling pose now friends before we get into it this is your dancer posture I want you to really consider that the posture works best when you are calm. So just to notice, if you practice Hatha regularly and you suddenly realize I was loading up dancer pose, what did that do to your heart rate? Did it kind of send it a little bit 
sky high. Well, notice you have a teacher going to time your posture so that you can feel good. And let's begin. Take your right hand out like you're holding a tray. Reach back. Now, shift your work so that you can pick up your right foot. Hold your knife edge or your arch if you can. So whatever part you're holding is fine. Put your knees closed. Raise your left hand high. Now look into the mirror. Job one is peel back your right shoulder. When you see no right shoulder, reach up like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Now keep the reach up as you begin to kick your heel away from your hip. When you see no part of your leg in the mirror, that's time to charge down. Now look forward. Put your hand like you're going to touch the middle of your forehead and kick hard. The kick and the reach together create this posture. You're looking good. Let's get deeper. Last 10 seconds already coming up. Kick and reach. Three, two, one. Kick your way all the way till you touch your knees. Release. Relax and rejoice. Feel the effects of the posture. Feel yourself settle. Okay. Now, as deliberately as before, really deliberately. Nothing to rush. Take your left hand out. And we say like you're holding a tray because we don't want your hand like this. That'll jack up your shoulder and really tear up your elbow. So if this is for you to just take knife edge, that's okay. If, if it's all you can do to grab a pant leg, that's okay. If it is available, hold your arch and keep your thumb with your fingers. Seal your knees and raise your right arm high. Job one, peel your left shoulder till you can't see it. Now job two, reach like crazy. Kick so hard till you cannot see your leg. Then charge your body down. Look in the mirror. Now reach your hand like you're trying to touch your forehead. You're looking good and breathe. Breathe soft, patiently. Last 10 seconds already coming up. Kick and reach. Four, three, two, time. Kick all the way till you join your knees. Release, relax, mountain. Okay. All right. Second set is half the time. So just like before with the half moon, go right where you left off and get more. Okay. Let's begin. Take your right hand out, reach it back as able, pick up your foot, join your knees, raise your left, peel your shoulder, kick, kick, kick. When you see no leg, charge your body down. Reach your hands like you're going to touch your face. Kick and reach. Kick and reach. Three, two, one. Kick all the way out. Kick all the way out. Release. Relax. Restore. Nice, easy breath pattern. Second side, take your left hand. Pick up your left foot. Join your knees, raise your right arm, peel back your shoulder. Now reach, keep reaching up. It's not time to charge down because I can still see my leg. When you see no leg, go for it. You pivot on your hip and you come down and you kick hard and you reach and you breathe and you kick a little harder and you reach a little farther. Last 10 seconds. Already coming up. Four kick, three kick, two kick, time. Join your knees, release, relax, and revive. All right, a little cardio there. All right, Tula Dandasana. Step to the back of your mat. Inhale, circle sweep your arms. Now point straight up at the ceiling. Take your right leg forward. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, go down. Arms, body, legs, head, and make your capital letter T. Square your hips, flare out your toes, airplane, hands to heart center, sweep your wings behind you. Now look in the mirror, body down, leg up, 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 change, feet to meet. Woo, Stephanie invented that. 
I love it so much. Inhale, circle sweep. Okay, point the ceiling. Take your left leg, step it forward. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, go down. Arms, body, legs, head. You can create the T if you have room. You can I dream of genie your arms if you haven't. Square your hip, flare your toe, and we'll bring hands to heart. And then there's your airplane. Body down, leg up, leg up, up up change feet to meet toes and heels to touch all right take a quarter turn for dande mana bibhaktipada paschimottanasana now step all the way out wide and pigeon toe your toes this is where i always think of elena you know in bikram we always stood at the back of the mat and we stepped left to right left to right or sorry, right to left, 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 right to left. 90 minute classes three times a week for 10 years in a row. If we were over it and Elena said, I'm done. I'm like, you're right, you're right. So we created this together a couple years ago. We're gonna just stay in this space for these poses. Inhale, circle sweep your arms. Exhale, arms out and swan dive into Dande Amana. Bibhakta Paschimottanasana. Dande Amana means you're standing. Bibhakta Pada means the legs are separate. And Paschimottanasana means we're going to stretch the west side of your body in a big, big stretch. So some of you can grab your calves, your shins, or like me, step on your fingers. Soften your knees, please. See how this helps the sit bones tilt up? Look at your mat. Now bend your knees, send your sit bones up, and pull. Use the strength of your arms to lengthen your legs from your tailbone to your toes, from your tailbone to the top of your head. Shift 70% of the work forward. Soften your knees a little more. Find a big breath. On your exhale, pull. Bring your face to touch the floor. Pull, pull, pull. Change hands to hips. Eyes up to rise up. Trikonasana, first side. Identify your right foot toes, pivot them to the front. Drop into your lunge. Open your arms, look at your back thumb, and tilt. Place your elbow in front of your knee. Have your chin to your shoulder, or if you like, look with your eyes to your thumb. Now here's a pro tip. Shift more of the work to your front heel point to the median, to the midline, toward the medial aspect. Now, take your back heel and shift to the outside, the lateral aspect. From these two places, draw them energetically toward each other. Nothing's gonna move, but it makes this a super sustainable posture. Find a round of breath. Change, parallel your feet, palms to meet. Star pose is our transition. Second side, take your left foot, toes, turn them to the back, drop into your lunge. And check that your knee is, yep, over your heel. If it, if it is too far forward, like toward your toes, send your back leg back. Flip your palms and tilt your body. Place your left elbow in front of your knee, your chin toward your shoulder, so that you keep the back of your neck long. And then drop. Again, shop around. Press a little bit more to the inner heel of the front foot and a little more to the outer heel of the back foot. Now revolve your ribs. Big breath here to lift your heart. And on the exhale, you revolve your ribs to the roof. Drop your hips, spark your fingers. This is awesome. Really expand through your wings, drop, get deeper for three, two, one, change. Star pose, parallel your feet, palms to meet. Shorten your stance just a little for Prasarita Padottanasana, the big forward fold. Pigeon your toes, your feet slightly, inhale, lift up. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Now this time, it's just to rest or invert. There's no big agenda about pulling your face to the floor on this set. And you could hang out or you could get an inversion. If you're going for a tripod headstand, work your elbows toward each other and then draw your inner thigh line together. Press, push, shift, lift, change, meet your buddies down here. And then here we go, let's take a twist, put your left hand to your right heel, take a half bind here, big inhale through your crown. So this is about getting more, bend your bottom elbow, soften your left knee and look past 
your right shoulder change second side take hold your left ankle half bind with your right hand that's your left hand big breath in on your exhale bend your bottom elbow and breathe soften your right knee a little bit bend your right elbow more and gently revolve your ribs to the roof breathe into your right side body rinsing out your organs that's another feature and benefit because remember compression and extension so right here we compress a little bit into the organs on the left side and extension or extending the intercostal muscles of your right ribs change hands to hips let's rise up eyes up rise up and we're back to the home base for trikonasana second set identify your right foot toes pivot them to the front drop flip tilt bind put the top hand to the small of your back your thumb leads the way and you can take an easy bird here now i used to be able to do a full bind but as i got curvy it became more about listening to my shoulders instead of my ego so we codified what we call easy bird here but then sometimes people will be like danielle that's insulting it's it's not very easy so then we started calling it free bird so okay put your right hand behind your right heel and start to square off your hips then step as many steps as it takes invite your back foot front then flip your grip take your cupped palm and stand up and lift your heart and then kick out as able and this is a nice steady stable base you can extend your other arm if you like you can lift your heart you can lift your chest and that's a good time if you have other ideas of what you want to do while we're down here, that's a good time for a compass. And let's come back and meet our buddies in the bind. Change. Star pose. Parallel your feet. Palms to meet second side. Trikonasana. Send your left foot toes. Drop your hips. Look at your back thumb and tilt your body. Half bind here. And again, for the free bird, hold your left heel. And then see how I'm going to shift and square. It's almost like I'm doing a pyramid pose here as a square to the back, looking at the left foot. And then back foot comes in and then flip the grip and then, and then lift up. Now, as ever, lift your face first. You get up by lifting your eyes on the horizon first. And then when you straighten your supporting leg and you want to goof around, you have the other arm expressions and maybe a compass expression. Change. Let's meet our binds. Binds. Star pose. Parallel your feet. Palms to meet. Hands to heart. Hands to hips. Fix your clothes. Pyramid. Let's do some Parj Votanasana. Now shorten your stance significantly, about three feet wide. Pivot all ten toes to the back. Again, big nod to Stephanie and her choreography brilliance. Soften your front knee, inhale, lift your heart, and exhale to hinge at the hip. Lead with your heart for the pyramid. Touch the floor. Now, traditionally in the Bikram class, we're in Dande Mana, Bibhaktapada Janu Shirasana, and the forehead to knee is valuable. But curvy friends like me, we're just gonna get pissed off if we're trying to you know, put the forehead on the knee. Even when I weighed 120 pounds, I couldn't do that because I have a short torso. So again, you know, there's many shapes of people. So this tradition honors the body that brought you to class. Now, if you want a stretchy thing, look at my left hip, see how it's going away. I'm gonna pull it to the center for pyramid. Softens through the knee so you have no strain here. Inhale, lift your heart, and exhale to drape your torso in line with your leg. And if your forehead is on your knee, good job. You're getting the throat lock sensation, compressing and massaging thyroid, parathyroid. All right, pyramids, everybody, listen carefully. Bend your front knee, put your hands on your hips, and stand up with your face first. See this nice hip hinge coming from your forward fold. Pivot to the center. Pivot all ten toes to the front. Get organized. Square your hips. Your back foot toe is pointing to the front left corner. Soften your front knee. Inhale, lift your heart. And on your exhale, lead with your heart. Fold in half. 
keep going and then keep your front knee soft keep your tummy tight and as before create your posture see how my right hip is leaving i'm gonna pull it to the midline soften through the knee so we don't feel a strain behind the knee crease where the ligaments are inhale to lift your heart and exhale to drape drape your torso over your long leg check your clothes it's a family show okay now here we go press your heel Help your hip back and feel this nice bright light of energy from your heel to your hip. And, and you, we always have a micro bend in the knee because some of you are hyperextending and then you're just crushing bone on bone. This is all muscularity here. So jazz up your front quadricep. This is the reciprocal inhibition. The more you jazz up your front quad, the more you lengthen and stretch safely your hammy. All right, friends, find a round of breath. Change. Bend your knee a lot. Put your hands to your hips and stand up this way. Eyes up to rise up. And then two feet together. Toes and heels to touch. Tree. Vrikshasana. Now shift your work into your left leg. Put your right foot below your knee. Place your right hand at your heart. And place both hands at your heart. Let's get your foundation. Pull your pelvic floor up and in so that you lengthen your tailbone a little down and back. You push leg to foot, foot to leg. Chest up, chin down, eyes open. For more, let's grow, grow, grow your tree. Relax your shoulders. For more challenge, look up. For more challenge, look up. Beautiful. Now join your palms. Look forward and we will slowly bring your hands back to the center of your heart. Release, second side. Shift your work to your right leg. Put your left foot above or below your knee. Pull your pelvic floor up and in. Ribs together, hands at heart. Push leg to foot and foot to leg. And this is a neat stretch for the inner thigh line, the sartorius muscle that starts at your pubic bone and then ends behind your leg bone. It is the longest muscle of the body. And this is a really neat way to, to get at it. It's kind of hard to work. It's a stabilizer, so it's deep in there. So press your foot to your leg, tuck your tail under, pull your pelvic floor up and in. You can kind of really feel it if you need it there. All right, let's grow your branches. Press your palm. Reach your hands up and then again, look at your horizon, then above it for more all the way up. And if you haven't wobbled yet, close your eyes. Like purposely put yourself into a little peril so that you give yourself lots of grace to get back to good. All right. Open your eyes, join your palms, and slowly bring hands to heart center. Find a round of breath. Change. Honor your space. And it's time for another sip of water. Okay, we're doing well. That was your standing sequence. And now let's find the floor so we can get into your spine strengthening activities. Now, since this is all back bendy stuff, I'm going to face this way. So you can see what I'm doing specifically with the hips. Lay on your tummy for Cobra Bhujangasana. And notice, see how I'm not engaged. You can see my lumbar curve really accentuated. Now watch, any back bend needs this first. Tuck your tailbone down, tuck your pelvis under. See, now it's a neutral spine, just, just like what you would do in any back bend. When that's true, put your hands to your rib cage and now push your toenails down, lift your heart. Now keep going. Lift your chest and notice you can look down, forward, or up, but check that your neck feels good. Keep your jaw into harabanda, your chin lock. Press your toenails down, and if you like, you can float your fingers. Lift, change. Left ear down, look right. Relax and breathe. Going from something to nothing, then back to something. Going from nothing. Nothing to something to nothing. And that's what's kind of fun about Hatha. It's a one or a zero. There's nothing in the middle. Do it or let it go. Just like life. Okay? 
Bujangasana Cobra, second step. Now, Bujanga actually means shoulder. So let's get into it. Help your tailbone down, squeeze up your legs so tight, and then mobilize your shoulders. Mobilize your rib cage. Float your fingers as able. Look down, look forward, look up. Breathe and lift up, up, up. Change. Right ear down, look left. Breathe. <sighs> Okay, Shala Basana. Bring your arms out like airplane wings, zip up your legs, and lift your arms. Now work with the space that you're in. Bring your arms a little bit behind you, and squeeze your legs tight. Now squeeze your shoulder blades together tight. Eyes up, thighs up, rise up, change. Left or down, look right, and breathe. Breathe. Okay, second set, Shalabhasana, zip up your legs, bring your arms behind you, and lift up. Now let's do something different. Put your fingers behind your ears, separate your legs, and let's do some hypers. So lift your heart, lift your torso, lift your legs, squeeze everything, squeeze and lift, 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 change, right or down, look left, and breathe. All right, two sets of floor bow. Bend your knees, capture your feet for Dhanurasana. Now, if you are just working with one foot at a time today, that's okay. We have two sets and two legs. If you're going for two feet, put your hands on the knife edge part. Join your knees closer, take a breath. On your exhale, kick. So kick your heels away from your hips. Let your hands receive your feet. Shift your work slightly forward. You can look down, forward, or up, up, up. Change. Left or down, look right. Okay, second side or second set. If you want rocking horse, you can keep your thighs on the floor. You can hold your ankles. You can flex your feet. And kick. Keep tucking your tailbone under as you kick. Keep your chin neutral. You can look down, forward, or up. Kick, kick, kick. Change. Child's pose. Oh. So this is where we diverge a lot, but still honor the Bikram tradition with the compression and extension only thing different is we're omitting some of the poses that are really contraindicated for healthy body movement and we're blending things together but it's not a power class because we're not adding the vinyasa there's no high push-up low push-up up dog down dog nope that's what keeps it a hatha and i hope you're enjoying yourself massage your neck shoulders maybe take prayer hands and let's get into it, Ustrasana. Come to a high kneel. And since it's a big back bend, start smart. Put your hands to your low back and push your hips under. Then push your chest up and look at the ceiling. And if it's for you, take your feet. There's no need to if it's not going to work for you. But you can always come to tiptoes too. And then maybe your heels are handier. Push your hips forward. Shine your heart high. And if you feel as glorious as I feel, Feel. You could take a lion breath with me. Empty your lungs. Big inhale. Ah. Change. Support your back. Tuck your chin. Take your seat. Embryo. Put your hands, palms turned up onto your lap. Drop your elbows. Tuck your chin. Round down and hang out. And if you're curvy like me and you have flopped forward, then simply find an embryo with your arms behind you. And breathe. Change. Okay, second side of Ustrasana, camel. This one really lights you up. Gets all your chakras spinning. Chakra means wheel. And there's seven major plexuses of nerves all throughout your body that love a good camel. So this is like the vanilla latte of yoga poses. Put your hands to your low back. Push them forward. 
climb your heart high, take your feet as able then like a sailboat with the wind behind you. Push your hips down, climb your heart high and breathe. This is so glorious. Push your shins down, push your hips forward, climb your heart high and breathe here. Two lion breaths, inhale, ah, big breath. Ah. Change, support your back, tuck your chin, table, top, cats and cows, and get a little mobility, inhale, lift, exhale, round, cow spine, inhale, lift, your eyes, hips, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, hoist your hips, half pigeon, inhale, lift your right leg high, exhale, put your right knee behind your right hand, and take time to fix your clothes, turn your left hip down, lift your heart, and drop. You can stack your fists, you can pillow with your arms, or you can stay elevated, shift around and settle, and notice where your body receives its pose. Send your breath there. Okay, change. Let's find a transition that my Hatha teacher taught us in 2008 when I took the Hatha training from Ali. Lift your left hand to a Janusharasana facing the other side. Put the bottom of your right foot to your inner left thigh and hold your foot. Again, you can bend your knee to put your forehead there, but if it works better for you to take a full split, then that is the only way I know my forehead's gonna ever touch my knee. So find the position that helps you enjoy a stretch. Everybody roll your right shoulder down. Everybody notice where your body is receiving this posture. And see if you can supply your breathing there. All right, so if you are in a full split, let's meet our friends in the Janu Shirasana Stargazer. Put your right hand behind you, then lift. Lift your left hip, lift your left hand, turn your left foot down and your left palm up. If you like, you can Pete Townsend with your arm. So tuck your thumb in and sweep, and then tuck your thumb in and sweep. Listen carefully, plank, spy the mat, flip it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Put your left knee behind your left hand. Fix your clothes and then roll your right hip down, pillow as you did, and notice where your body receives the posture. This has convection to it, so pull your belly button up and in, navel spine tucked in, pelvic floor, chin lock, and then melt. Melt the outer body as your inner body hugs to your midline. Melt like butter on a hot potato, your shoulders, your back, but light up the, the life on the inside so there's no dead pigeon hair. It's pelvic floor up and a navel spine, chin lock, and your beautiful breath. Change, okay, Janu Shirasana. Lift your right hand high and we'll put the bottom of your left foot to your inner right thigh as before. Inhale, circle sweep. Exhale, take your foot. Stay or play. If you did a split, then that's the time here to roll your outer hip down and invite as able forehead toward your knee. As ever, relax the outer body. So your shoulders, your face, your jaw. Then as ever, shine the light of your mind's eye directly towards sensation. Sensation doesn't tell you that you are tight. It doesn't tell you you're wrong, need improvement. Sensation tells you that this posture is having an effect on your physical form. Let your breath express a quality in your energetic body. And let your breathing soothe and settle your emotional body. And then with your mind's eye, 
Notice your breath. Concentrate on it. Meditate on it. So that you keep your brain in a productive place, not a judgy, planny, grievy, grumpy, thinky kind of place. Big breath here. Big exhale. Okay, so full splits. Let's meet our Janu Shirasana friends who were forehead to knee here. And we'll take your left hand stargazer, put it behind you, then lift your hip. Press your right foot flat, turn your right palm open. And if you did so before, lead with your thumb to Pete Towns on your arm. Lift up. Take a big breath in and exhale to lift up. Such a big heart opener. Let's stay here. Up, up, up. Change. Sit down. Upavishta Konasana. Separate your legs. Tilt your sit bones back. Lift your heart and hinge forward. Be up on something high if that's your range of motion or go deeper if that is for you. Chest up, chin down, eyes open. Beautiful breath. You could stack your fists to support your forehead. You could pillow your hands. Some of you are flat on the floor. But close your eyes and notice where you can send your breathing. Where you can relax deeper. And notice just how fine everything really is. All right, change. Press yourself up. Bring two feet to the front. We'll get you set up for Ardha Matse Andrasana, a seated twist. Identify your right leg. Cross it over your left. Bend your bottom leg. And sit two hips between two heels. But curvy friends, if your spine is askew, you could straighten your leg with me here. And put your right arm behind you. Inhale to lift your left. Now remember, help your elbow just gently there to your knee. You're not going to torque. We want to inhale to lift your heart and exhale to revolve your ribs. So shimmy your shoulders. That's what's safest. Everything below the belly button can and should stay put. Look behind your right shoulder. Inhale, get taller. Exhale to twist and twist and twist and twist. Woo! Change. Second side, put your left foot over. And again, you could bend your bottom knee and sit two hips between two heels. But if your hip is up, that's no way to twist. It's wonky and it won't work. So we'll stay with a long right leg today here, left arm behind. You don't got to jam it behind you. I don't want you to crush your wrist or your shoulder. It's just back there like a kickstand. So use your hand pressing to the floor to further lift your heart. Bring your right arm up, right elbow forward, and then you can create a little mudra. Your thumb tip to the first finger. Hi. Yeah. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, look behind your left shoulder. Again, everything below the belly button should stay down. So everything above, like your ribs and your shoulders, can twist. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Change. Okay, fish pose. Let's take a matsyasana. Sit on your hands, relax your elbows. Big breath here. Point your toes on your exhale. Ah, two more. Big breath. Ah, last time. Ah, shavasana. Shavasana. Relax your body to the floor. We have two minutes left. So know that I'm watching the clock. So you can watch your breathing. Let's see if you can hear the birds or my dog snoring.
in this minute here, participate with your beautiful breathing. As you inhale, feel your whole body celebrate. As you exhale, drop and let the earth support you. Notice the sound of the wind in the trees. Notice the sound of the breath in your body. Run a scan head to toe. Hear the whisper, hear the life, celebrate. Everywhere there is joy, everywhere there's celebration. Join in. Gently, let's transfer you to a fetal position. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and make a pillow with your right arm for your head. Tuck your knees in and feel held here. This is, this is for you. Take full advantage. You're so loved. You're so strong. You're so smart for taking good care of you. The people who love you are glad that you do. I count myself among these people. Good job. Let's sit up. Slowly bring yourself to an easy, comfortable seat, one of choice. And let's finish like we started. On your inhale, circle up, gather your palms, bring them to the center of your heart. Thank yourself for creating space in which to find this kind of strength, this kind of health, this kind of joy, and then use it just by being in your house, on your mat, with this kind of intention. You send out a frequency, an echo, an energetic force. By our thoughts, by our words, by our deeds and our actions, might we today create meaningful, healthful, and happy experiences for the greater good of the planet and all who walk upon it. Thank you for practicing. Thank you for listening. And good job. Namaste.